Hey guys, Mario here, otherwise known as White Tomb on the interwebs. And well, I didn't think we'd be back here so soon, but I'm doing another unboxing video of another collector's edition. Woo! Hey guys, what's up? It's Mario, not looking as crappy as other times, but uh, gonna stay behind the camera for most of it, so let's get going. But ow! Oh yeah, so I finally got it. It only took me a hell of a lot of effort, an arm and a leg. But I got Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. Woo! Alright, so let me tell you the story behind this, because it is kind of a story. Alright, so I am not, like, the biggest of Metal Gear fans. Uh, I'm kind of like one of those, more of a Metal Gear enthusiast, really. Like a guy that likes to just read up on cars to impress his car loving friends uh, whatever whatever anyway so i basically brushed off metal gear rising revengeance when it was first announced because m like many others i thought Raiden sucked and was a namby pamby and um when I, even though they tried to make him look cool i was like dude i will never forgive metal gear solid 2 so i pretty much brushed this game off. It wasn't even in my radar. Then came the demo that I played, uh, followed by the two best friends playthrough of Revengeance. And finally, I got a whiff of that sweet-ass soundtrack, and I took a total 180, and it was super sold, and I got all kinds of hype, and I threw money at the screen, but nothing happened. And then I'm like, I must get this game. But of course, I'm also a collector, so when I get a game, if there is a collector's edition for it, and if it's got cool enough stuff for me to try to get, then I will get it. The problem is, is that apparently everyone and their little dog decided to get the game as well, or rather the collector's edition, because they were literally selling like hotcakes. I was like, okay, I'm going to save up until this date to get it. And by the time I actually had like some sort of a chance to grab it, uh, they were all sold out at my usual site. So I had to basically scrounge around the interwebs, hoping that one vendor somewhere still had a copy of Revengeance, at least at retail. If not at a discount, at the very least at the standard retail price, which is where I got this from. Uh, because if you go to eBay and like the third Amazon's third party marketplace, you you're gonna get pissed. Um, if you're lucky, you will find a new Revengeance Collector's Edition box at the retail price, but more than likely you'll find it at a hundred dollars more, sometimes even two hundred dollars more than the retail. So yeah, can you imagine paying like three hundred fifty bucks for this thing? Yeah. And some people will even rip you off and be like, yeah, well, well you, you can pay like 90 bucks, but it doesn't come with like certain items because I decided to be a little bit of a son of a bitch and take it, you know? So, um, yeah, the fact that I even got this, pretty awesome. All right, so enough about me babbling and rambling. Let's open this puppy up and see what we get in the Revengeance Collector's Edition. So let's do that. Here's the game, Revengeance, right in looking badass, and a steel book casing in case you want to be all cool and stuff. Oh yeah, Zendatsu, I think is what that means. Or it could just be Japanese Doctor Who with the crack in the wall, I'm not sure. Right in looking all badass and stoic and crap. Yeah, I'm a fan of Raiden now, shut up. Uh, I guess if, in case you really want to keep things in Steelbook, you can, but, you know, the regular casing is fine with me. And underneath that, we got some more cool shiz, a uh, warning booklet thing, I don't know, some crap that I'm not even going to read. And what we have here, <laughs> hold on, I'm going to have to put this down so I don't look like an idiot while I'm trying to open it. Come on, get out. Come out, you. Here we have a nice box within the box. When I do unboxings, 
I literally open it up. I don't know what's inside. I mean, well, I do know what's inside because, you know, the website tells you what's inside. But I really, I don't open things up. I sometimes get rid of the wrapping. So I don't spend like 20 minutes trying to open that crap up. Okay. Alright, so let's get rid of all this crap. Oh, badass. Okay, so after like two hours of wrestling through all that packaging and stuff, find this awesome... Oh, it's got wrapping on it. Plasma lamp with the high frequency sword. Yeah. This is going to look awesome. I'm going to try it out in a little bit. Okay, so there's the lamp. High frequency lamp. Uh, got the wrapping off of it so it looks less crappy. And I was looking for the other item. It turns out it's in the game casing itself. There's the there's the game right there. And the soundtrack. Oh. This has literally been half the reason why I wanted this collector, collector set. Excuse me. The soundtrack. I went on YouTube, because everybody posts their soundtrack, the soundtrack up to any game on YouTube, to anything really. And I heard it, I heard some of it on the demo, and I liked it. And then when I heard, like, almost the rest of it, almost all of it, on YouTube, I, I like, literally nerdgasmed. I, you know, and then... You put that on the game, gameplay footage, which, you know, I kind of spoiled myself and saw some of that, and it is just all kinds of amazing and epic and glorious and, ah, so yeah, no, game, definitely wanted, the soundtrack, wanted so bad, and everything else is just icing, so, here's the game, the soundtrack, steel book cover, and of course this badass high frequency sword plasma lamp, which I'm going to try on real quick. Okay, so here's the plasma lamp that, uh, uh, genius that I am, took me like an hour to figure out how to turn it on, where I didn't realize that it had two power settings, one with just the lights lighting up, and then the one with the actual lightning shooting. So I got it working, there's a revengeance, see, through it. So yeah, I think uh, that'll get all the ladies in the yard, right? Impress them with science. Oh, what's that, Mario? You got a plasma lamp. Oh, you so awesome with the science crap. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so between this and the soundtrack, and of course the game, I'm loving this. Okay, so uh, all of this came at a retail price of $149.99. So basically 150 bucks. Now comes, of course, the $64 million question, is it all worth it? Well, friends, uh, I just want to say that every time I've done an unboxing for a collector, special or limited edition, I've tried to be as honest with you as I, as I can and not you know, let my personal hype bias get in the way of uh, my opinion, and I think I've stuck to that so far. So. It may or may not come as a surprise to you uh, for uh, with my answer for this one. Um, no, it is not worth it for most of you. And uh, here's the thing: uh, for those of you that are more interested in digital content, uh, well, you won't find any really here. I mean, there is none. Like I, I, I mean, I, I probably need to do a more thorough search, but I didn't see anything that would indicate that there's any DLC or anything digital to download or at all. For the people who like, you know, physical stuff, you might be a little bit more sort of satisfied. This mm, will do probably do nothing for anybody because I mean steel book, whatever. But uh, the lamp, you know, is a nice addition as well as the soundtrack. And uh, especially for me, I love music. Video game music, most video game music. So this is awesome. The thing is though, is that a lot of people, not me, I don't really care about length. For a lot of people, that's an issue. And from what I've been told, uh, MGR Re Revengeance is n not even a long game at all. It is, most people have beaten it in somewhere between six to eight hours, depending on difficulty and all that stuff. So for those of you that feel that length is a factor, then this will probably piss you off. And because some people are wondering if it's even worth the price of just the game, you know, which is like $59.99. And so, let alone 
getting a short game plus stuff that, you know, may or may not even interest you. So, for most of you, my answer is no. Uh, no, this is not a collector's edition you should get, uh, throw money at. Um, if you're a hardcore collector, or a super duper fan of Metal Gear anything, then I say go for it. The game has hyped me up, and I like collector's edition, so that's why I did it. Uh, this would be one of those YOLO type purchases that I did, that I got something that I couldn't really afford at this time, but I got it anyway. So, what else? Uh, but yeah, no, my, my answer to most of you is that no, this is not a collector's edition I would, I would suggest you get, because you probably will be disappointed in one way or another. But, I'm not most people, I got it, and I'm going to tear into all of this uh, as soon as I'm done here. Alright guys, uh, that about does it for me. I'm going to change things up. I'm not just going to do the newest game releases, because things are a little screwy with me still. So, whatever collector's edition I pick up, I'll do an unboxing for it. Be, be it one that comes out in a few days, or one that came out a year ago. It, it doesn't matter. If I get a hold of a collector's edition, I will talk about it here. Alright guys, uh, what do you think? Let me know what you think of the commentary plot. As always, I do read and I do get back to you. It's been fun. I will be around for more stuff, so stay tuned. And stay tuned for another unboxing sometime soon. Alright guys. Live Nerdcore, Y2M out.